Hey guys, we're starting out kids art, uh, first one of 2021. So we are um, just getting started here this afternoon and we're gonna be working with India ink and some watercolor. So um, a lot of times you might find that India ink comes in uh, these, that's the watercolor, um, containers like this and then there's a lid on them and they have a little eyedropper on them that helps to drop the ink onto whatever you're working on. Or, and we're gonna be working with some watercolor paper today. So just to kind of go over your supply list here, we are using a watercolor paper. This is 140 pound paper and um, as a nine by 12, we are going to cut sheets in half here and just work with half sheets today. So those of you that got the to-go supplies, I sent home at least three sheets of paper for each student so that they have um, plenty of paper to work on. So we're gonna go ahead and cut this in half here to begin. So again, you'll need watercolor paper. Um, we use um, uh, watercolors that come out of a tube and the ones that I sent home are in a little tray. So you shouldn't need extra, anything extra for that, but if you are using the watercolor that comes in a tube, we use um, these styrofoam plates as our surface to put our paint on. You'll need some paper towel. You'll need an old container for water. You'll need some paint brushes. We are using, this is a number five round brush. And I would say, um, so just to hold that up a little bit closer, I probably wouldn't use anything too much bigger than this for when we are gonna be making our ox. So we're gonna be doing watercolor. We're gonna play around with moving India ink around on that and then we are going to kind of free draw with the India ink and the um, paint brushes and we are going to um, do a simple drawing of an ox and do the symbol. So this is for the Chinese New Year and that is what 2021 is, is the year of the ox. Can you sit down, Ella, please? I'm the year of the snake. Yep, yeah, so there's a lot of different um, animal representations in the Chinese New Year. Ella, do you remember what you are? She I was born am the dragon. Year of the, she was born in the year of the dragon, I believe. I was born in the year of the horse. And so each of these different animals represent different things. Um, uh, so like... I honestly don't even know exactly what all of the different things are with the Chinese New Year, but um, they believe that you have like certain lucky numbers and lucky days, colors, um, certain characteristics are associated with each animal and the year that you were born in. And so anyway, this year is 2021, the Chinese New Year. It starts on February 12th, I think, which is um, coming up in about a month. So anyway, we're gonna start out with watercolor. And I think I went over all of the things that we need. If I didn't already mention it, um, you will also need India ink, which is what we'll be using today. If you um, did not get supplies and you are local, we would be happy to put together a to-go bag and get you some of is this stuff. Is this the 10th? I don't even know what day it is. Ninth, maybe? I'm not even sure. Anyway, so we're gonna start out with these sheets of paper. So I just cut this nine by 12 sheet in half. And these guys are going to just do some free watercolor, uh, just out putting watercolor on the paper. So we have two of them ready to go here for the next step after this, but they're gonna go ahead and do that. So if you have your watercolors, um, get those out. And you guys have your brushes here. I'm gonna wash my brush out because I don't need that in here anymore. Um, you have your paintbrush, Ella? Here you go. Okay, and so um, to do watercolor that comes uh, out of the tube, and you would do the same thing for the ones that come in the tray, we get our paintbrush in water. So it's like you said, or like I said, it's watercolor. So we use water to um, essentially kind of activate the paint, if you will. And we're gonna bring grab some water and so there's a lot of pigment right here and we're gonna just apply this to the paper. So I'm just gonna kind of show you here. You just start adding 
color and then I'm going to grab a little bit more water and you can even grab more water. Now if you want a lot of pigment, you can just come back in and add some pigment here. So you'll see where this area here where this dries, this is going to be darker, this is going to be lighter. And these guys have several different colors here. So they have a green, orange, blue, red, and yellow. So if you guys want to go ahead and just start painting your paper, we're going to... And every time that you go and grab a new color, what do you guys do? Wash your paintbrush. You wash your brush out so that your paint doesn't get all muddy. And so soon it starts to be brown or black and then I guess which could be fine. However, we're going for a little bit more color because you don't need that much, David. That's a lot of pigment on there. So go ahead and put that on there and then I want you to just continue adding water to that if you would. It's just water. Mm -hmm. And keep moving that around because we can cover a lot of area with that pigment that you put on there. So just grab some more water and keep doing that. Keep spreading that around going this way because we're going to fill this whole sheet. Great. Just this? Um, no, you can add other colors on there too. I just know that you have a whole lot of pigment on there and the water is going to help spread the color out. And so we got a new tripod for Christmas, so we're trying that out with our camera today. So hopefully you guys can see good From here. me. From David, yep. So we're going to put the watercolor down on the paper and then we'll add India ink on top of it. So if you're following along at home, you'll need to allow the watercolor to dry first before we come on top and put the India ink on top of that. So it's kind of a fun little experiment. Is that dry? Let me see. You got quite a bit there. So I'm gonna let these guys work with their watercolor here for another minute or two. Um, we do already have a couple of watercolors finished, so we'll move on to that next step with the India ink and show you guys what we're gonna do with that. And then we'll do the drawing of the ox. And so the extra paper that I sent home with a couple of you will be for you just to experiment. I think I sent home um, probably three colors with each, three different India ink colors. And so the they're in little containers, and so when you open those up, um, there's a, it may not look like a lot, but there is India ink goes a long way. So you could even play around. You don't need to use watercolor paper to um, add India ink onto. You could use any kind of paper. It dries fairly quickly and. So another way that you could do this is if um, when we draw the ox, if you decide you want to do watercolor on top of that, you could certainly do that as well because it doesn't take very long for India ink to dry, whereas this watercolor is going to take just a little bit longer. Um, and that also just depends on how much water that you add to your paper. So if you add a lot of water, it's going to take a little bit longer for it to dry. So um, why don't you guys just pause with your watercolor here and we're gonna move on to the next step and you guys can finish this a little bit later. So I'm gonna take this and just scoot it off to the side. So Ella, if you wanna take that sheet and Dave, you can take this sheet and we'll set it off to the side and then we're gonna go ahead and use these ones that we already have finished. And we put them on our drawing boards here. So we're just using these drawing boards to um, protect the table. So if you, want to put down a, some kind of um, uh, tablecloth, like a plastic tablecloth, that might be a good idea because India ink can get really messy and um, stain your clothes, so make sure that you're wearing appropriate clothes as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to put some India ink on this paper and then to move it around, you're going to blow. So you're going to blow air. You could use a straw, but we're just going to use our breath. And so the ones that I sent home, 
I haven't really figured out a great way to do this. I meant to send home little eyedroppers with you. I set them out next to what I had and then I totally forgot to send the eyedropper with. So I'll just, I'll probably run around this afternoon and go drop those off for you guys. But um, these particular India inks already come with a little eyedropper in them. So we just go ahead and squeeze it and then that sucks up a bunch of the ink into the eyedropper here and we're gonna put it on the paper. So I'm gonna let you kind of work with this. And again, this is just getting familiar with using this medium. So I'm gonna have Ella, can, before you put it on there, Ella, can you pause? pause? I'm gonna scoot you over so that we can see this a little bit better with the camera. You come to the center here and then on Dave I'll have you do it and we'll see how it works for you. So we are going to just go ahead and squeeze that on here, just however you want. Okay, that's probably good. So one way to do this would be to, um, and we're gonna go ahead and so this dries fairly quickly. So what I want you to do is I want you to come down here and go. Can I use a straw? Yep, you can do that next. Why don't you go get one and I'll keep doing this and then show them what it looks like. I don't know if you remember this, Dave, but we did something like this in preschool. We made them into monsters. Do you remember that? Oh, yeah. Okay, so this was four drops on here, and I just want to hold this a little bit closer. So this kind of makes these cool little um, spider-like um, things. So, um, can you get up here, please? Okay, I'm going to scoot you over, and Dave, I want you to scoot over here. Can I keep going? Yeah, you can go ahead and do whatever you want over here. She doesn't need that. Go ahead and scoot yours over here, and then you come into the middle. So we have a whole bunch of different colors. I'll hold this up here. Um, I think I'm, I can't remember. I think I got this on Amazon. Um, so there are a whole bunch of different colors. Do you want to try a different one rather than the teal? There's red, orange. Oh, Ella's using the red. Um, blue, black, white. White could be really cool. Green. Um, purple, black, black is really cool too. So you're gonna go with black. I like, or no, that's brown. Okay, so I'm going Why to. Why not actually something? This one. So you can kind of see in here. Um, you gotta shake them up too, because sometimes the pigment can kind of settle. So, Dave, what I want you to do when you put the ink on here, I want you to use your eyedropper. So Ella's trying out this straw here and we'll show you what that looks like in a minute too. I want you to just drop some ink on here and then I want you to take the paper. How do I get it? I want you to take the paper and I want you to move it around like that, how, in whatever direction. And then you can do the straw mm -hmm. next as well. So you can take that little eyedropper and you, um, I think it already has some in there. I already Do you know how to it. use them? Then yeah. go like Yep, you squeeze enough. it then. Okay, so go ahead and put some on there. Ooh, that looks cool. Okay, that should be good. Now I want you to lift up the paper and move it around. And it's okay if it gets on the... Give me, give me, and, yep, um, just a minute. We're finishing this up right here, Elle. So do you want to turn that around and we can kind of show what that looks like on, you got a couple of bubbles on there too, which is interesting. So let's hold this a little bit closer. Can I pop them? Okay, he's going to pop them. So this is kind of what happened when you take that and just move the paper around. So it's going to kind of depend on how much ink that you put on as well. So Dave, there's that. If you want to switch to, uh -oh. yep, it gets messy. So if you want to switch to another color, we're going to scoot Ella back. And if you want to go get a straw and try that out, you can do that too. So we're going to scoot Ella back here. And I just want to show you what it looks like when she uses the straw. Okay, go ahead and squeeze a couple of times. All right, cool. 
well. And then we do want to make sure that we get the lid on there nice and tight so that it doesn't leak. So she's using a straw to... Okay, and you don't need to use quite that much ink because it can get oh, kind of messy here, Dave. Okay, you got one more? Pull that one around. Okay, so she just did the purple, and so that's the darkest one on there. I guess it looks kind of black maybe on the camera. Um, so, anyway, that's just one way to play around with Indian ink. Just a minute, babe. Um, we're gonna move on to the next step here. You guys can come back and do this again after we're finished here, after we're done making the video. So, um, what did you, just a minute, Dave, we're gonna move on. You can come back to this. So what did you guys think? What was, let's see, you did the straw and just blowing air. Which did you like best? Straw. Straw's kind of fun. It was just really hard to like get this move. So I had to go and then with the straw and keep going around. So it's kind of fun thing to play around with. Now you wouldn't have to do the watercolor background. You could just do India ink and move that around on here, which would be kind of a fun way to do that too. So Dave went ahead and did blue over top of his orange, which it's kind of a cool design. You'll notice that um, because the orange was still wet, um, and then he put the blue on top of that, so the blue started to follow a lot of the lines that the orange did. I think if you would maybe let that dry a little bit more, then we would see the orange a little bit more too. So we are gonna take Dave's got a lot of ink left over on his board, so he's going to take a paper towel and just kind of clean that up a little bit. Come on. <laughs> and we're going to move on to drawing the ox. So I'm going to just set these um, off. Yep, go get a... Go, can you go grab, like, a wet wipe or two? Yeah. To go clean the rest of that up. Okay. All right, so we're going to set that off to the side, and then we are all, again, going to get use our 9 by 12 paper and we are going to cut it in half and get that out here not working no that'll be good I'm just clean it up a little bit all right so i'm going to go ahead and fold this in half so we did a couple of practice ones. This is just the basic shape that we're going to do. So the idea is that we will draw the ox. I'm going to also show you how to draw the symbol for ox. So this Chinese symbol for ox. And then we also wrote the year on here. And you can do that or not do that. And if you decide you want to just play around with... Um, painting with your India ink, you can do that too. So we are actually going to paint with a brush when we draw the ox. So. With the black? With, we're gonna use whatever color you want to use. I use black. And then, like I said, after you finish this, if you decide you want a watercolor over top of that, that might look really cool. So we each have our sheet of paper here. And I guess I'll need probably one more. Can I draw it on the back of yours, Ella? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the black. You guys wanna choose which color you're using? For the left. For drawing the ox? Yeah, I'm gonna have this one. Okay. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and open it up. I want you to just squeeze the ink out of it. Um, if it is new, which I don't know if you've used this one before, I want you to shake it up so that it gets mixed up good. Um, yep. So I don't want you to take any of the ink out. What I want you to do is if there's ink in the eyedropper, go ahead and squeeze it all out because we're just going to use this as our little paint container. And so I'm going to set this eyedropper here on the side. You want to make sure that you get the same eyedropper back in the bottle of the color that you were using so that we don't make the paint muddy 
or the India Ink Muddy. So Dave's gonna use this greenish color, it kind of a turquoise like green. And then they each have their paint brushes. So again, we're just My using box. these number oh, yeah. five brush. Don't use that fat one. Hey, that was mine. Okay, Ella, do you know where yours is? No, that was mine. No. Oh, this was mine. This Dude, that cool. was yours. Okay, yep, this is yours, Dave. Oh, yeah. So our water is a little bit dirty, but that's okay. These colors are kind of dark. If you were using a lighter color like yellow or orange, you'd want to make sure you have clean water. I'm going to go ahead and use black. Set that over here. So um, you don't need any water or anything to... You can just leave that sitting down now. You don't need any water to... Um, mix with this it, we're just going to use this straight on our paper here and so what you do is you're going to start out by dipping your brush in the ink and I'll draw this and then I'll hold it up for you to see so it's not backwards I guess I should have thought about how to make this video a little bit better all right so we went ahead and put our can I um do um can I draw with a pencil then go over it? Yes, you could draw this with a pencil first and then go over it. I'm going to go ahead and go start with ink. These guys are going to use, start. are you going to use pencil? Yeah. Okay. Start. All right, they're going to grab a pencil first. I'm going to go ahead and put the lids back on their ink so that we don't spill it everywhere. Yeah. Go grab one from the pen drawer. Thank you, Dave. So you can decide which direction you want to draw this um, portrait or landscape so the landscape would be having your piece of paper like this or sorry portrait and then this would be landscape so I'm gonna draw it in this direction so the first thing you want to do is um, if you're drawing this with pencil go ahead and use your pencil the first shape is we're gonna do the horns up on top so we Draw a shape that looks like this. So how do we draw it? You just make um, kind of a big fat U. So it's real fat on the bottom. Hair? Mm-hmm. Cool. That looks good. And you know what, if you guys want, we can always come back and use another sheet of paper. This is just our first time doing this. All right, so you have that. And then we're gonna move on to the sides of the face. So again, I'm gonna draw, grab a little bit more ink. And then I'm gonna make what is the ear and the side of the face. So I'm gonna come over here and go like this. So this is the next shape. This side or this side? It doesn't matter, you do the same thing on both sides. So here and then there, like that, right below this. And then you're actually- Like here? Mm-hmm. Like a seven, but straight. Seven and then kind of a curve. Yep, that'll work. And then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So now you have this. And I'm just to show you, I did a whole bunch of practice ones. So if you wanted to just keep making that shape over and over again until it feels good to you, you can do that too. And so then we're gonna make okay. that. Okay. And then you do it on this side. Yep. And then you want you want to draw it down on this side. Okay. And then it's gonna go down. Yep. Okay. So then we're gonna make sort of the eyebrows that come down into the nose. So you're gonna make, this is like, a, this is also like a U shape. So it's kind of like a skinny, narrow U. So it comes in a little bit, goes around, out. So then you have this in the middle. It's like how again? You come in like this, go down, make a U, and then come back up. Kind of like that. 
Nice, Ella. That's awesome. I love it. Okay, so if you have this much done, we're going to make the eyes next. You got it. Just keep following that light shaded. You see it? What? Yeah, but just how it is, Ella. It's perfect. If you keep following this right here, come down, out, and around like that. That's good. Don't erase it. It's good. It's good. Okay. So then I'm going to get a little bit more ink on here or if you're using your pencil. So then the eyes go right below the shape right here. So they're right here and right here. And I'm just going to make like a little dash and a dash. Ooh, that eye got big. So I better even them out. Let's make even eyes. So it looks like this. Dot and a dot on either side. Perfect, yep. So you're gonna make a little dot there and a little dot there. And you can color that in with your ink too. So we have that. I'm gonna come back up here to this space where we made these shapes right up here at the top. And these are the ears. So I'm gonna make them just a little bit fatter with my ink. If you're using pencil, you don't need to do that. You can just make that fatter when you come back and get your ink. So I'm going to make it a little bit wider up here on top. And I'm just going to do the one side so you can see what that looks like. All right, so I came up here and I made that a little bit fatter right there. And then you can do the same thing on this side too. All right, so let's do the nostrils next. So the nostrils are going to be right in there. And... So we're gonna do the same thing on either side. We're gonna do kind of like a, almost like a six. It's hard, to, it's easier to, it would be easier to see this if it was, um, if I was doing this with pencil, but it looks something like that, little nose holes at the bottom. So inside, yep. Yes, good. And then can you do the other one backwards? And I'm gonna hold yours up and, cause that's a really Wait, good shape. Oh, this one? Yep. Like I like it. That looks good. Yep. Okay, so here's David so far. And Ella's so far. Awesome. Okay, so then the last thing to do is to come down here and do this little mouthpiece, which goes right down here on the bottom. Do we have to do it? Nope. If you're happy with how you have it, you can leave it just like that. I mean, but what is this supposed to be? It's like the bottom. It's like the mouth. And when you add ink on, it will look a little bit different. Yeah, I'm not putting that. Okay. So they decided they're not going to add that. Okay, so we have this. And then we are also going to do the symbol for ox. So let's see if I can do this. Um, holding this up. I should have got my easel out today. Okay, so the first stroke is to make this little dash that looks like this. Let's see, hold that a little closer. So it looks like that. I might bring this camera in just a little bit closer. Okay. And then I'll show you guys how to do this in just a second. So you made this no, little dash. Paper on the back. I know. And then you drew a, a line horizontally coming off from that. And then below that, you're going to make another horizontal line. And then you can draw one vertical line down the middle. And so that is the symbol for ox. And then if you also wanted to add in 2021, you could draw that with your brush. This is backwards, obviously, um, with the video. And then if you decide that you want to watercolor this whole thing, you could also do that. So that is our lesson for today. And again, for those of you that have India ink at home, if you want to play around with that on any kind of paper, it's kind of fun just to draw with. So we did 
We um, used the straw blowing technique. We used it just moving the paper around. We used a paintbrush. And so there's just a couple of different ways that you can use India ink. So we um, will have kids art again next week. And I am playing around with one or two different ideas. I think I had put um, winter silhouettes, which is kind of a fun project, but we have another one that we might be working on this afternoon as well, and we'll see how that goes. And we'll post on the Kids Art event page Can I what we will be doing. Yep, just one second, Dave. So thanks for joining us today. Hope you have a good rest of your afternoon. Again, if you are a local and you would like these supplies, I can send you home with like three different um, India ink colors to play around with and some watercolor paper. And then we also do have some watercolor sets if you want to um, work with the watercolor as well. And if you already have that at home, then we can just get you the ink. And um, yeah, and so for those of you that are, are I already dropped off supplies. I'll try and get those eyedroppers to you too so that you can do that for um, dropping on the paper when we did this part of the project. So, all right, bye guys. Thanks for watching.